and then I will select my account this is my personal account so we'll then use that for this tutorial and we will go to the console in the console uh, you can click go to new project I will take video thumbnail then continue let it be the default account for Firebase this will create a new project with the video thumbnail it will take around 1 to 2 seconds for this to be completed now meanwhile we will also go to the google cloud and google cloud is the base for everything that we do on Firebase and the function that we are trying to create will be through google cloud so let me show you how we do it once we go to the cloud.google select your account and then go to the console so this is done now we go to continue once we are here we go to storage in storage we get, get started just get click and done this will create a storage account for the firebase so once we this is done we go to the google cloud and here we select the project that we have created so the all present video thumbnail of the two storage accounts have been made so this storage account will contain the video and also the image that we will make so this is the storage account which is currently empty this has nothing in it now to make cloud form function now we will go to the cloud function here so once we are here we have to enable billing i just will enable billing to this i will take my billing account and set that to it so once the billing has been done we go to create function so let it also be video thumbnail we increase the memory allocated because uh, converting videos to a thumbnail takes some time and also it requires a lot of memory power so it's better to convert to 512 out now at this the trigger point for this is when we get a new video into the cloud storage so we'll take cloud storage from here finalize or create when a new video is being uploaded to the cloud storage this function will be triggered now to bucket we have to select this thing video thumbnail bucket now if we select this we take python python 3.7 so now once we have done this we go to this we select google cloud storage and uh, get video properties now let me know how this will help these are the dependencies we will be using in this so this is the function that will be triggered once the uh, video has been uploaded so to make this function so we will do import os import os is to make a file into the cloud function uh, on the server now we have to import the google cloud storage as well so from google dot cloud import storage then to run uh, to run uh, a command on the command line of this server that we are trying to make of this function we have to import the sub process sub process will execute a command line so i will let you know what the command line is some process input check out output then from video props import get video properties so this is to get the properties of the video that will be uploaded so we have to initiate 
the client which is the storage client so this is the function <coughs> will be started once this is once the video is uploaded to the cloud storage So this channel convert video thumbnail. So this contains two things, which is the event. Event is will contain the entire data. Once once the image video is uploaded to the uh, storage account. So now we will start this thing, which is just remove this entire thing. Now we start that if let this be data if data content type content type is the kind of content that is being uploaded so it's then we will execute this function further now to get the bucket where is the column get underscore bucket which is the bucket where in the video is uploaded now we have to get the name of the video that will be uploaded which is data name now now we will create the file name which is will be used to store the video that is being uploaded to the cloud storage to download it on the server that we are trying to make on the function now this function will download the video from the cloud storage and convert it to a thumbnail so we have to define where the video will be stored so which will be the temporary folder of this function so this file name will be equal to slash temp slash plus name just name is the official name that we will get then we can also print this in the logs to confirm that file name has been picked now we will define what will be the uh, thumbnail file name is equal to we will also save this on the tel part which is OS dot path dot split uh, which is the I think split is the name we have to split the name take the first we will be saving it as PNG we are only taking the first name part and adding the PNG to it now print thumbnail file name this is will be for our logs now we will try to remove if anything is already there with the same file name just to make a check so we will add except then pass we will do the same for the thumbnail file name which is this thing now once this is done we will do a sanity check that the file has been removed now we will do the downloading downloading the video 
Okay. Now, function. So, to, from bucket, we have to get the. So, this is blob, which is bucket dot get block which is the name of the that we got which is the name we, we are getting this file from the uh, bucket now we will download this file download to which is the this thing, fine now once this is downloaded we have to just free it downloaded now we will get the properties of the video so props is equal to get with your properties which is the file name so we will get the videos with now with uh, with is equal to props this is the height now we are now we will create the thumbnail from the video now what we will do is run a command to run the to check output ffmpeg sorry this is ffmpeg FFmpg is the standard way of converting and modifying videos which is available on the command line on the google cloud functions so this is now then i so this is this is the command line that we will be using sorry this is something i have also forgotten so this is minus 4 um, then we have to define which i is the input file so input file is the file name for us then we are using the v codec v codec is the m pack we will be using for the conversion now v frame is the first frame that we will be using so the first frame then the audio is not required then from a raw video we will we are taking an image from the raw video which is more more good in quality now this is uh, s is the size that we are looking for but for size we have width and s into x plus height then we have to do is give the position of the what kind of output that we are looking for we are looking for thumbnail file name which is the png file now we will do shell is equal to true this is the command line now we will upload this command line to the bucket so now thumbnail blob we will upload this to the command line thumbnail blob is equal to bucket dot blob now blob in this thing will be the png file so to get the png in here we will use the thumbnail sorry uh, no. thumbnail finding we are 
be creating a new job that will be uploaded. Okay, so fine now thumbnail block dot upload from file name which is the thumb file name so this will upload it uh, so print Now, once this is done, we also put the else here. It says that thing not a video. Okay, this is the code that will make the thumbnail from the video. So, we will copy this. And the requirements we have these two things. I'll we'll just be okay. We have done one mistake here. Let's just be completed. Then show you what we have done. The mistake. This will take a few seconds to be loaded because we'll take all the um, dependencies and requirements that the Python function has to get to run it. So it will take all the. It will take around a minute. So I will skip this part and then come back to a gate. So once uh, this function is deployed, so you will get this icon, green icon, which is the deployment successful. Now we will go to the storage account of the Firebase and upload a video file to test it. Then I have one, this is an mp4 file, just can upload this thing, which is small mp4 video file, this once this is uploaded, the function will start here. is already done so if we refresh this thing so we will get a png of this thing and we can download this thing by going to the so from here we go to the storage This is the bucket that we have, and we have two files. And just down this. So, see this the whole screenshot is made. So, this is how we make a thumbnail from a video. Hope you like this video, and please do subscribe and like this channel to got, get more updates for the upcoming cloud or flutter or some some automatic ways to do things so, goodbye